Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Delaware Park here on Wednesday. It's opening day, the 25th of May, 2022. Going to look the third race from Delaware, but before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kit 5 for more selections for race courses around the world. The third from Delaware, it's a starter allowance race, purse $28,000. Races for three year olds and upwards never start for a claim price $16,000 or less in 2021 or 2022. We have a field of nine horses horses entered. Keep in mind the sixth horse is an MTO, so eight will go to the main track, to the turf course, shall I say. The distance of ground is 1,700 meters, or a mile and 1 16th on the Delaware turf course. 1,700 meters, mile 16th. Portable rails are up at 15 feet, so keep that in mind. I'm going to take as a top selection here the five horse outrageous bet. Let's go 5297 in the Superfecta. 5297 Super, top selection of five horse outrageous bet. This eight year old gun by Courageous Cat. John Kirby trains one. Paco Lopez gets the leg up. The horse's most recent outing came the 7th of May at Tampa. Mile 8th in a Star Lounge race, 16,000. And the horse finished second by a half length. He sat back early, but had an explosive turn of foot late. Just a little bit too late, and maybe a little bit wide late. But he still ran his heart out, earning an 81 buyer. Coming, making his Delaware debut off some decent runs down at, uh, at Tampa. I'm going to give him another shot. Two back at Tampa on 23rd of April. One mile on a star lines race, 20,000. Again, he finished second by a nose. He sat back early, stupidly wide, but he was closing up well late. Keep in mind, because he got interfered with, he was placed first due to disqualification. Uh, but it was still a very good race from there. And then before that, 30th of March at... Um, Tampa, mile 16th in a star lounge race. He finished fourth by four and a quarter lengths that day. Um, you know, again, he closed up a little bit that day, but it wasn't anything spectacular. Maybe a little bit of better trip he could have won. Uh, and then they took him long before that at Goldstream, about a mile and a half on the turf course in a, in a star lounge race, 16,000. He finished fifth by five and a quarter lengths that day, and he never really got going. The front end horse really put on a show that day. This horse just wasn't putting on the show. Uh, and then the Tapete on, on the 26th of December at Goldstream, about a mile 16th in a star lounge race he um finished six by six and a quarter lengths that day and just had nothing don't think he really liked the uh the, the tapita surface but if you look at some of his races last season in new york he always ran these uh these races actually won on the uh, 23rd of september at belmont going a mile and then claiming twenty five thousand, winning by one and a quarter lengths from a track musician he won quite easily uh, and then before that at belmont in july he won very easily on a very rock hard uh, on a good turf course uh but coming here two to one i think he could show some speed like he did in new york i think that'll be good in this race i'm gonna give him a shot here at two to one but to recap my selection for the third from delaware let's take the five horse at rate his best let's go five two nine seven in the superfecta so good luck to all and please follow me on twitter at horse racing kid five good luck everybody